So this is just going to be a, a really quick video and uh, it's come about from a post that I found on uh, the internet and uh, some guy made a adapter for one of these little uh, dipole antennas to turn it into a uh, small Yagi antenna so the uh, little dipole went from being a omnidirectional antenna to a uh, directional antenna. Now modifying one of these uh, little dipole antennas to turn it into a slightly more powerful directional antenna is nothing new. The uh, Pringles can has been around since the uh, dawn of the internet to actually turn it into a uh, sort of a cantenna. And uh, we've also got the uh, windsurfer that uh, is tried and tested and uh, works really well. But this particular website discussed how you could uh, 3D print an adapter to fit over the top of uh, one of these uh, little dipole antennas and actually turn it into a uh, Yagi antenna. So I was uh, intrigued by this post and in theory it uh, should actually work because uh, what we're doing here is creating a Yagi antenna. Now remember Yagi antennas can either be uh, the parasitic elements in the reflector can either be uh, connected together through the uh, boom itself if uh, the boom's metallic but uh, you can also have a uh, Yagi antenna where none of the elements are actually uh, connected to each other like a uh, PCB or something like that so it does work either way now in theory this should work and uh, what we've got here is the uh, little rubber duck dipole antenna taking uh, the place of the uh, main driven element of this Yagi. Now as for the measurements on the original post, I've actually uh, changed them slightly just to simplify them. So we've got the back reflector here and that measures uh, 72 millimeters long. Then we've got the uh, driven element of the rubber duck dipole here. And the first parasitic element actually measures 34 millimeters. The second parasitic measures 32 millimeters, and then the final parasitic um, element here measures 30 millimeters. Now, as for the elements themselves, I've cut them out of some uh, three millimeter copper wire. You could use slightly thinner if you wanted to. It shouldn't make much difference. And uh, for the boom itself, what I'm actually going to use is a uh, sharpie to uh, actually hold all the elements and also drill a hole in it to fit over the top of that rubber duck dipole antenna and effectively turn it into a uh, little Yagi antenna. So I've marked out the holes that I need to drill for the uh, dipole antenna and uh, the four elements. The back reflector is over here at the back and uh, the first parasitic is 60 millimeters away from that back reflector. And then the rest of the parasitic elements are actually spaced out at 30 millimeters apart. I'm using these uh, measurements because it's uh, the measurements that I'm uh, using on a uh, couple of Yagi antennas that I'm building at the moment. Now, as for the uh, dipole antenna, which is going to be the driven element, that's uh, 20 millimeters away from the first parasitic element and uh, 40 millimeters away from the back reflector so the measurements are quite simple and i forgot to mention that i have removed all the innards from this sharpie and uh, yes if uh, anybody's noticed this is a uh, sharpie knockoff but uh, you put it next to a genuine sharpie the uh, dimensions and length of this are exactly the same so i've got all the elements in place i just use some epoxy to uh, fix them down to the body of the sharpie and uh, to be perfectly honest if i was going to make this again i would have the clip here lying on the top so you could actually still use the clip to affix this to your pocket and that would make this a real uh, portable yagi adapter then and uh, wearing this in your top pocket probably give you uh, a little bit of geek street cred as well so although this video was done on the fly and this is the only one I've made and I haven't even tested it yet I decided to just finish off the uh, elements there with some black paint but if you're uh, going to actually make one of these I would uh, paint your elements before actually gluing them to the uh, pen itself it just makes the job a lot easier. So for the test then I've got the alpha card on my window here in the lab and uh, just a small uh, dipole antenna attached to it so what I thought I'd do is give it a quick scan with uh, just this small dipole see what kind of uh, signal strength 
we get on some of those access points and it probably will pick up around uh, 15 to 20 access points because even though it's just a small dipole it is omnidirectional and then uh, without actually turning the card off I'm going to swap it out with the uh, dipole with the uh, little Yagi adapter on and see uh, what kind of increases we get on the uh, signal strength so we'll do a scan first and we'll just let it settle down so we've got a few access points there and I think the strongest so far is 58% uh, so what I'll do is I'll uh, swap it out and see if we get a uh, increase in any of those signals So we've got the adapter on and straight away I can see uh, big increases across the board on some of those signals up into the 60s definitely uh, some uh, fluctuating there into the 80s 90s but uh, definitely uh, stronger signal strength across the board on most of those uh, access points but of course because we've now turned it into a directional antenna we have lost signal on some as well but uh, it's definitely effective it's not uh, the most powerful thing in the world but um, it's uh, definitely effective on one of these small rubber duck antennas so I'm actually quite surprised how well this actually performed you did see quite big increases in uh, signal strength there ranging from 10% to almost up to uh, 20% so definitely uh, it was uh, doing the job at turning this uh, little dipole antenna into a uh, directional uh, Yagi antenna so it took me uh, by surprise I didn't actually think this would uh, work as well as it actually did so a nice little surprise then uh, again this was just something I found last night and uh, I thought I'd have a go at making it today and uh, I did actually spend more time making it than I uh, intended to but uh, I'm glad I actually turned the camera on so I could share it with you because uh, it did turn out to work quite well so I'll put links in the description to the uh, 3D printed uh, Yagi adapter that uh, I found that actually inspired me to make this but uh, if you've got any uh, questions or comments then uh, please drop them below and if you did uh, enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and hopefully you'll join me for the next one.